All right, Caitlin. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning, welcome to the Scrap and Pallet Man channel. What we normally try to do is find stuff on the curb or in a dumpster, but who knows really what's going to happen today. And our journey is going to start right now. I just closed it. <laughs> yep, I haven't had anybody lay on my scale yet, so I'm not sure if it's going to do the tiger issue. So I think that we should do something along the lines of, you know, like, hey, like, you know, this is to count by the metal. Um, <laughs> oh, sure. However. Right. So, hey, my name is Cece, and I work here at DeKalb Iron and Metal. I'm Caitlin, and I also work here at DeKalb Iron and Metal. So you're actually walking right in front of our facility, which is super great, and we're actually located in DeKalb, Illinois. Woo! <laughs> right off 38. <laughs> Two blocks. I think this is south. <laughs> Super convenient for anybody trying to come visit us today. Awesome. All right. Anytime you're ready. All right, all right. Hi, guys. Yeah. <laughs> all right. So, Caitlin, I'm actually cleaning out my garage this weekend. Where am I taking all this stuff? <laughs> all right, right Caitlin. So, I bring my aluminum cans over here. What else do we put in this blue building? Aluminum cans, copper wire, siding, anything in small quantities that is not steel. Wow, that's quite a bit of stuff that fits in this little building. You'd be surprised. <laughs> One more time. That's a lot of soda. Beer cans weigh more than soda cans, folks. Bring them in today. Caitlin. <laughs> movie, movie, movie. <laughs> this is a lot of fun doing uh, some footage for the scrapyard. Now, I've never actually filmed a video for anybody, so this is some pretty cool stuff. Once again, totally winging it. <laughs> All right, we're going to film their call to action uh, to actually get people to, to do. Now that you've seen our entire process and how simple it is to scrap your metals, now the best part is, you guys get to come in here and get paid. You bring us your receipt from across the street, or we also have your weight from the scale. Bring it in, bring your state-issued ID, so a license or a, or a state ID, and uh, come in and get paid. So my FOID card doesn't work, right? No FOID cards. Mm. They are government-issued, but they don't work with our system. Mm -hmm. That's how simple it is. Now bring in all that scrap metal that you guys had sitting in your garage or sitting on your lawn. We want to pay you for it. We want your scrap metal. Yeah. Boom, boom. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so it's about 9 a.m. I'm done doing the footage for DeKalb Iron and Metal. And I think I want to go just straight to working on the footage. All right, so I've been editing that video for the scrap yard. And uh, we'll see how it turns out. I'm, I'm kind of struggling finding the right, you know, the low tone music in the background. You know, for like my type of garbage vlogs, and I don't mean that as, as a derogatory thing, um, I just don't put music behind it. But for their videos, I, I need to find the right music to be behind it. So, and also I sold the, uh, or I'm getting ready to sell uh, the exercise bike. So, yeah, so it's been online for a couple of days and and have found some that's very interested. So I'm going to go meet up with them here shortly. So I got to Casey's a little bit early, the Mini Mart, because my storage unit's right behind here, um, to sell that exercise bike. And, yeah, so I'm going through comments, you know, on the videos. And I just have to say that I'm having a hard time keeping up with the comments. So if you don't see me respond um, or something, it... Um, yeah, I'm just I'm just struggling to keep up, you know, because then I upload another video, and then uh, some days, and I'm not saying this to boast, but I think it's just a fact that, you know, some days I'll get 300 comments, and it takes time to read each one, digest what is being said, and then you know respond appropriately, or um, you know.
know, it in you know, and I try not to do grumpy replies, you know, because I've done that before and just I've just said the wrong things at the wrong time to the you know, it's just yeah. So I try not to do grumpy replying. And also thank you for the two PayPal uh donations. Um so thanks. I, and I know I always get a couple of commenters they get all mad when I mention that I have gotten a, a tip jar PayPal. Um, they're like, wait a minute. If you don't scrap, micro scrap the proper way out, you don't deserve a a tip jar or whatever. And and I know I'm preaching to the choir here. Uh, and most people know that I'm not getting a tip jar because of my scrapping expertise and my scrapping skills. Yeah, they're not there. <laughs> they just aren't. And, I, and I'm not going to worry about um, today I don't try to hone my non-talents you know I work on things that I'm good at I don't work on things I'm not good at anymore um, and I, I don't, don't think there's any real point in that um, I work on my areas of giftedness and I think that everyone should do enough stuff in your life where you know things that you are good at and you're talented at and you're gifted at and then work and hone on those gifts and talents that you already have uh, and one thing I like doing is running around and making videos and having a good time and um, playing in the worship band and and that type of stuff that's what I, that's how I'm wired and I'm gonna stay doing that so thanks for the tip jar and what I'm right doing as I'm waiting it's pretty cold in here, as you guys uh, always, uh, for the buyer for the exercise bike, I'm watching Recycle Dude. That definitely does the trick. Here's one of the guitars you guys have seen me play. He has a new upload. A Fender guitar. I like this his live stream. His, his live guitar streams. Guitar not yeah, Fender, they're pretty nice. This is an from the they're uh, they're funny. They're and, uh, entertaining. Now soon there's... Good. Uh, up for it. So we'll have to back behind. Sure, so it might not fit. Don't know. No way, but no chance. It just. Buy it, right? Okay. Definitely. All right. I have the money here. Let me yeah. give it to you. Okay. Someone told me that. Um, so I'm going to back my truck up over here and I'll load it up. Okay. So you can pick that up by yourself? I got it in there by myself. I just do, I go slowly without, you know, trying to like, because I really don't like hurting myself with no, things. No, I don't blame yeah. you. So, yeah, I can. Okay. Right. Bless their hearts. They showed up in a very little vehicle, but they don't live very far away, so I'm going to take it over to them. Very nice couple of ladies. All right, it sold $30 and it got a little workout. I got a free workout. Whew. All right, so what am I doing now? It's 1.49. I have to go finish editing the video for the scrapyard. And then 
put together this video. Yeah. All right, let's get to work. So I'm thinking about the process that that exercise bike went through. A homeowner decided to drag it out to the curb and I saw the homeowner and I talked to him and he said the exercise bike worked, but there was some issues with the display. So I took it, took some pictures of it right away, as you saw in two videos ago, and found a buyer for it, um, basically just a mile away. And they bought it for $30, and it does retail for $299. But here's the, here's the thing that I truly believe in, that if someone gets a good deal, that everyone gets a good deal. If someone gets a great deal, someone the other end of that didn't get a great deal. So I think if everyone gets an okay deal, that's the fairest, the best deal possible. Because I'm looking at the buyer and the seller. Like when I was in the real estate business, if the seller got an extreme amount of money for their house, of course they're happy, I shouldn't say of course, Traditionally, they would be very happy. And the buyer paid a whole bunch of extra money. Now, if I had a buyer in my car as a real estate agent and they're looking for a tremendous deal, the seller isn't gonna get a tremendous deal. So I always looked at that, that middle ground that where an okay deal is probably the best deal you possibly can get. All right, folks, I need to get focused on this editing. All right, so it's about four o'clock. I just turned in that video over to DeKalb Iron and Metal. I uh, just finished editing it. So hopefully it works out for them for what they want to do on Facebook. Uh, just to you know, tell the community what DeKalb Iron and Metal is all about. And I think, I think we accomplished it. I'll put that video at the end of this video. So, um, man, I got all kinds of stuff going on. Yeah, sold that, that exercise bike. Um, met a really nice lady. Yeah, she was cool. And, you know... <laughs> It's funny that um, just trying, like with this video, I've never made a video for a company before. I've never done any of that stuff. And, you know, the video didn't turn out perfect. You know, some of my camera angles are kind of off. They were off. Um, but I'm learning. And that's cool that there's some people out there that are like, you know what, L let's learn together. Let's, let's try this. So just putting forth the effort... You know, it's that whole ready, fire, aim method, which I just love. You know, ready, fire, then then you kind of aim. Um, it, it just works out. So I'm going to wrap this video up. I just want to thank God for a great day. Thank, thanks for a clear mind. God, you gave us a sound mind. And let us just reside in that and know that you made us with all of our quirks uh, and that we have to continue to just to look to you to... To just to chisel away all the, the lies that have been just put on us that we think that we're nothing or we think that we're less than or what our parents have told us or older siblings or friends and family and just all the yuck. Just help us get rid of that yuck and just know what your original masterpiece is, God. We need your help just to chisel that stuff away and just to be polished so we can shine and reflect your sun. Amen. Hi guys, my name is Cece and I work here at DeKalb Iron and Metal. And I'm Caitlin and I also work here at DeKalb Iron and Metal. Welcome to our metal scrapyard where you bring all of your good stuff that you want to get paid cash for. We're actually located in DeKalb, Illinois just a few blocks south of Route 38, conveniently in the middle of downtown DeKalb. Cleaning out my garage this weekend. Where should I take all my stuff? Well, what are you bringing in? We have aluminum cans that we've got over a couple months. I have no idea where to take them. We take them to the recycling center, the big blue building across the street from the main building. All right, Caitlin, so I bring my aluminum cans over here. What else do we put in this blue building? Aluminum cans, copper, wire, siding, anything in small quantities that is not steel. Wow, that's quite a bit of stuff that fits in this little building. You'd be surprised. So here we are at the recycling center, where you bring in all of your non-ferrous, non-steel items. 
What you'll do is pull up through the drive through here. Clayton will help you unload your scrap material. You'll set it right here on the scale. It'll take a photo of it up there. He'll print you out a receipt and you'll bring it to one of us up at the main building and that's how you'll get paid. Beer cans weigh more than soda cans, folks. Bring them in today. Where am I taking all these washers and dryers and appliances? So if you're coming from the east to this direction over here, you'll pull up to this tail in front of the yellow rail. You'll pull all the way up to the end of the yellow rail here. You'll see a weight printout up there in the top corner. Once you get the green light, that means we've got your weight and you are able to proceed around the corner through the gate and a crane operator will help you if you need assistance. Each pile is labeled individually for what this scrap commodity is. So if you have a washing machine, you will put it under the commodity name appliance and shredder scrap. Well, I don't know if I can lift this up. Is there someone there to help me? Absolutely. We always have a crane operator available in the yard for your assistance. refrigerators, AC units. Oh, you know what? I, I've heard of that word before. That must be really bad for the environment, right? Freon is very bad for the environment. We do not recommend emptying the Freon out of any appliance by yourself. Bring it here. We can take it out properly. It's environmentally correct. And you'll be on your way. what you have when you started it and what you have when you're leaving. So I wait for that green light again after you got my weight? Absolutely, green lights are on that side and up here as well. So no matter which way you're facing the scale, you're good to go. All right, so now you guys saw the process of how simple it is to definitely recycle and now, the best part is, y'all get paid for it. Come on in, bring us your receipt or come on in and we've got your weight already from the scale. You bring your license or a state issued ID and you come in and you get paid. Bring in all those metals that are sitting in your garage because what they're doing right now is just collecting dust. Let's pay you for that dust now. We want your scrap. Now. 